The Wild West era was a time of lawlessness, violence, and conflict, and revolvers played a significant role in many of the most brutal events of that time. In this video, we'll take a closer look at some of the most powerful and deadly revolvers of the Wild West era and their impact on the history of the American West. Colt Detective Special The Colt Detective Special is a snub-nosed revolver that was first introduced in 1927. It was designed as a compact and easily concealable handgun for use by law enforcement officers and detectives. The revolver was chambered in .38 Special, and it quickly became popular among law enforcement agencies across the United States. The significance of the Colt Detective Special lies in its design and functionality. Its compact size and lightweight frame made it easy to carry and conceal, which was essential for undercover law enforcement work. The revolver's six-shot cylinder and double-action trigger mechanism allowed for quick and reliable firing in close-quarters combat situations. The Colt Detective Special also represented significant advancement in revolver technology. Its cylinder release latch was located on the left side of the frame, which allowed for faster and easier reloading. Additionally, its shrouded ejector rod prevented debris and falling from interfering with the revolver's operation. The Colt Detective Special continued to be used by law enforcement agencies throughout the 20th centuries and became an iconic symbol of law enforcement in the United States. Its popularity even extended beyond law enforcement, and it became a popular firearm for civilians for self-defense and concealed carry purposes. The Colt Detective Special is a significant firearm in the history of law enforcement and firearms development. Its compact size, reliability, and advanced features made it a preferred firearm for law enforcement officers and civilians alike, and its impact is still felt today in the design of modern-day revolvers and handguns. Webley Bulldog the Webley Bulldog is a British revolver that was first introduced in the 1870s. It was designed as a self-defense weapon for civilians and was known for its small size, reliability, and ease of use. The Bulldog was chambered in a .44, .450, and .455 caliber cartridges and had a 5-shot cylinder. The Bulldog was originally designed by Philip Webley, who was a British gunsmith and founder of the Webley & Scott Firearms Company. The revolver was named after the ferocious British dog breed, which was known for its tenacity and fighting spirit. During the Victorian era, the Webley Bulldog became a popular weapon among civilians who needed to protect themselves. Its small size and ease of use made it popular among people who did not want to carry a larger, more cumbersome firearm. Additionally, the Bulldog's reliability and accuracy made it a trusted weapon for those who used it. One of the unique features of the Webley Bulldog was its automatic ejector system. After firing all five rounds, the revolver cylinder could be easily opened and the spent cartridges would automatically eject from the cylinder. This made reloading much faster and easier than other revolvers of the time. The Webley was also known for its rugged construction and durability. The revolver's frame and cylinder were made from high-quality steel, which allowed it to withstand the rigors of regular use. It played an important role in the history of firearms development. Its small size, reliability, and ease of use made it a popular self-defense weapon among civilians during the Victorian era. Today, the Webley Bulldog is still a sought-after collector's item and a symbol of British firearms history. Hopkins & Allen Safety Police The Hopkins & Allen Safety Police is a revolver that was produced by the Hopkins & Allen Arms Company in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. It was a double-action revolver that was popular among law enforcement officers and civilians as a self-defense weapon. The company was founded in 1868 by S.S. Hopkins, C.W. Hopkins, and C.W. Allen in Norwich, Connecticut. The company produced a wide range of firearms including revolvers, rifles, and shotguns. The Safety Police was one of Hopkins and Allen's most popular revolver models. It was first introduced in the late 1890s and was chambered in .32 and .38 caliber cartridges. The revolver had a six-shot cylinder and a four-inch barrel. One of the unique features of the Safety Police was its safety mechanism. The revolver had a safety switch on the left side of the frame that could be engaged to prevent accidental discharge. This safety mechanism made the safety police a popular choice among law enforcement officers who often carried their firearms in holsters while on duty. The Hopkins and Allen safety police was also known for its accuracy and reliability. The revolver's double-action trigger mechanism allowed for fast and smooth firing, while its sturdy construction made it a durable and long-lasting weapon. The Hopkins and Allen Safety Police played an important role in the history of firearms development. Its safety mechanism and reliability made it a popular choice among law enforcement officers and civilians as a self-defense weapon. Today, the Safety Police is sought after collector's item and a symbol of American firearms history. Star Single Action Army Star Single Action Army is a revolver that was produced by the Star Arms Company in the mid-19th century. 
It was a single-action revolver that was popular among the Union Army during the American Civil War. The Star Arms Company was founded in 1858 by Ebenezer Starr, a gunsmith from New York. The company produced a range of firearms including revolvers, rifles, and carbines. The Star Single Action Army was first introduced in 1863 and was extensively used by Union soldiers during the Civil War. The revolver was chambered in .44 caliber cartridges and had a six-shot cylinder. Its design was similar to the Colt Single Action Army revolver, which was also used by the soldiers during the Civil War. One of the unique features of the Star Single Action Army was its double locking mechanism. The revolver had a lack the revolver had a lock on both the hammer and the trigger, which helped to prevent accidental discharge. This safety feature made the Star Single Action Army a popular choice among soldiers and civilians alike. It was also known for its accuracy and reliability, its sturdy construction, and simple design made it a durable and long-lasting weapon. Additionally, the revolver's single action trigger mechanism allowed for fast and smooth firing. It played an important role in the history of firearms development. Its double locking mechanism and reliability made it a popular choice among soldiers and civilians during the Civil War. Today, the Star Single Action Army is sought after collector's item and a symbol of American firearms history. Hopkins and Allen Ranger No. 2 The Hopkins and Allen Ranger No. 2 is a revolver that was produced by the Hopkins and Allen's Arms Company in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. It was a double action revolver that was popular among civilians as a self defense weapon. The Hopkins and Allen Arms Company was founded in 1868 by S.S. Hopkins, C.W. Hopkins, and C.W. Allen in Norwich, Connecticut. The company produced a wide range of firearms including revolvers, rifles, and shotguns. The Ranger No. 2 was one of Hopkins and Allen's most popular revolver models. It was first introduced in the late 1880s and was chambered in .32 and .38 caliber cartridges. The revolver had a 6-shot cylinder and a 3-inch barrel. One of the unique features of the Ranger No. 2 was its spurless hammer. The hammer was designed to prevent the revolver from snagging on clothing or other objects when being drawn from a pocket or holster. This made the Ranger No. 2 a popular choice among civilians who carried their firearms for self-defense. The Hopkins & Allen Ranger No. 2 was also known for its accuracy and reliability. The revolver's double-action trigger mechanism allowed for fast and smooth firing, while its sturdy construction made it a du durable and long-lasting weapon. The Ranger No. 2 played an important role in the history of firearms development. Its unique design features and reliability made it a popular choice among civilians as a self-defense weapon. Hopkins & Allen XL No. 8 The Hopkins & Allen XL No. 8 is a revolver that was produced by the Hopkins & Allen's Arms Company in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. It was a double-action revolver that was popular among civilians for self-defense and sporting purposes. It was first introduced in the late 1880s and was chambered in .32 and .38 caliber cartridges. The revolver had a 6-shot cylinder and a 4-inch barrel. One of the unique features of it was its top rake design. The revolver could be opened by pushing a lever located at the top of the frame, which allowed for quick and easy loading and unloading. This made the XL No. 8 a popular choice among sportsmen and hunters. The Hopkins & Allen XL No. 8 was also known for its accuracy and reliability. The revolver's double-action trigger mechanism allowed for fast and smooth firing, while its sturdy construction made it durable and long-lasting a weapon. The Hopkins & Allen No. 8 played an important role in the history of firearms development. Its unique design features and reliability made it a popular choice among civilians for self-defense and sporting purposes. Today, the XL No. 8 is a sought-after collector's item and a symbol of American firearms history. The most brutal revolvers of the Wild West. While these firearms had an important role in the shaping the in shaping the American history of the West, it is important to remember the complex and often violent context in which they were used. We hope that this video has provided you with a deeper understanding of the impact of firearms during this era and encourages you to continue to explore this fascinating chapter in American history.